weeks bushel up uh, sitting in the office here this morning for a little bit kind of going through some results uh, you know a lot of yield results have come in now a lot of guys wrapping up harvest we're seeing uh, a good batch of grid sample results already back and dry applications going on here at owners acres we've got our dry on a couple fields uh, we're doing some fall tillage here and and trying to get some cover crops in so you know, I know it's it's difficult when you get done with harvest. It, you know, I want to take that deep breath, uh, kind of get things cleaned up. Uh, maybe uh, I call it check out a little bit um, because it's been a long year. Uh, but I do want to remind us, you know, we've got some nice days. Looks like we got a little window here and we don't want to waste those fall days. So, you know, for us and for you, um, getting that dry fertilizer on, getting it broken down early. You know, we've got some programs to delay billing. I know it's always hard to uh, make a lot of decisions when you're still trying to figure out how the the 2023 year worked out you know we're, we're looking at high interest rates you know and, and just trying to decide what we do next year figure out this commodities market those are all things that, that we totally understand but we also want to make sure that we're not delaying a lot of decision making and, and putting ourselves in a bad situation for 2024 so you know you look at opportunities like fall burn down you know, I know the anhydrous ammonia is rolling, so those of you that like that opportunity um, to get some ammonia on, get some nitrogen out there, uh, we just ask that you understand what your residual nitrogen is and that you have a good program going into next year. You know, we talked about stabilizing that uh, last week and just the importance of, of making sure it's here eight months from now. So a lot of things going on. We look at seed. I know some of those decisions are made, but there's a lot of data still coming in. And, uh, you know, we sense out there that a lot of you are trying to figure out, okay, so what did work? Uh, there's a lot of variability. I'm looking at yield maps based on watering patterns, based on, you know, we had a lot of, a lot of wind, some hybrids went down, some stood, you know, and sorting through all that. But, you know, get yourself on the books for some of those hybrids. I always say there's always a two or three core hybrids that you know work on your farm year in and year out. Uh, make sure we're getting those covered. Um, and then, you know, you got some time here to sort through what's new, what might I try new on my farm. Uh, but keep keep taking advantage of these days here in the fall. I know, uh, you know, we always look at a, a good day in the fall as a day that we might not get back in the spring, um, depending on Mother Nature here in Nebraska. So uh, with that, if you've got any questions, if we can help you, um, you know, we're trying to keep our equipment rolling. So uh, we'd love to work with you on, on any opportunities that we have. Um, remind you just uh, make sure we're getting those samples back. Make sure we're getting good plans put in place for 2024. Uh, we don't have to decide everything today, but those pieces that we can do today, let's get them knocked out.